well, well, well. If it is in Hollywood and the squares. <laughs> hey, Malcolm, I didn't know you worked at Kmart. And apparently, the hair on top of your head didn't know it either. <laughs> what? Do me a favor, go like this. I think I got something in my teeth. <laughs> what? You know, uh, next time, you should use that Chia Pet stuff on your whole head. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is Higgins buying OJ's knife right now? You think you're tough? Hey, Malcolm, is that the knife the Indians use to half scalp you with? I don't even get that. What? Oh, come on, let's cheer him up. Benny Hill style. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, Crocodile Dumb D. Had to go with the kid. Good, good. He's uh, he's in school. Kids in school for one day? I didn't know what else to do. He's a thug, Lenny. He cut the head off a teddy bear. Imagine what it'll do to me. So you you're gonna buy this to cut his head off? No, I just want him to think I'll cut his head off so then he won't cut my head off. If you want to scare a relative without causing permanent injury, may I suggest this? Ah! Sir? Sir? Can you get off the bed? It's wake up time! All right, Grandma, I'm up! Stop yelling at me! The one is being mean. I like sleeping over. You don't yell. You don't be yelling at me. I love you. I understand. Oh. Oh. Clean up aisle nine. Oh. Get out of me! And bring a shovel. Ow. So my son Bumpy told me he's going to ask your daughter out on a date at school today. First of all, my daughter's never been out on a date before. And I'm sure she's not going to start off with some kid named Bumpy. He is the only other black kid in her grade. But you wanted to date a white guy? Yeah, Farrakhan. I'd rather she date the whitest white guy in the world than your little bald-headed boy. All right, but you know, don't worry when she says yes, because I already had the talk with him. What talk? Dating. I told him how we used to roll with the ladies in high school. You know, beep, beep. Mm -hmm. She gets some pepper spray from my kid. Some moron on the bus keeps messing with him, and he refuses to fight back. You know, that reminds me of someone I know. Who? You. What are you talking about? I got in plenty of fights. Remember ninth grade when Tommy Cavanaugh moved here from Texas? He nonstop abused you, and you did nothing about it. Tommy Cavanaugh was a roid freak. He had bag zits on his bag zits. Plus, he was joking around with me. If it was real, I swear to God, I would have knocked him out. Hey, isn't that Cavanaugh right there? Where? Uh, yeah. Really funny, man. Really funny. Hey, you weren't exactly Captain Courageous when we were growing up. Now, were you? Hey, I never backed out of a fight, though. Yeah, but did you ever jump off Suicide 35 at the quarry? Oh, that's right. <laughs> he always came up with a lame excuse <laughs> not to do it. Fun. Oh, I can't. I'm on my period. It'll attract sharks. What you, what you, what you, what you, Suicide 35 off the top rock, 35 feet above the water. My mom did that jump when she was pregnant with me. <laughs> There's a raft in there? Who did that? <laughs>